Okay guys, so as you can tell by the title, I've trimmed my hair and then something happened at home. If you want to see what it is, just carry on watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11. I am going to be talking about me trimming my hair. Now this was meant to be a voiceover video in just showing you me trimming my hair. However, trimmed my hair and this is what happened. Yep, that's right, seven seconds of a clip. I filmed for about half an hour, even more, and it literally just recorded seven seconds. This is just a short video, guys, very, very short. Unfortunately, I don't have any footage, which is very annoying. Even the amount of hair that I cut off, I was showing it in the video, throwing it away. It's gone. Hey ho. These are the perks of having a career on YouTube and filming, eh? But you can see, guys, I've got a blunt cut, and I'm gonna explain to you how I done that because I don't have a choice. I'm gonna walk you through this video, guys. So you can see my hair is fuller since cutting off those ends. Yes, shorter. However, I don't care. I don't care. My hair's healthy. Went for it and cut off the damaged parts, and I think I cut off about. So my hair will start. Okay, let's just stretch it down here. So yeah, so. I cut off about that much hair. I don't know how many inches that is. I don't know if you can get this measurement, but that's how much came off. Feels light, feels fresh. And as I said, I've got that nice cut. <laughs> right, so let me just explain to you what I did, guys. So I sectioned my hair in four sections, as I usually do. So I had my hair parted down the middle and I sectioned it like so. Just put these ones out of the way. So I had my hair like this in four sections. My hair was dry initially, and then I spritzed it with my As I Am Castor Oil Water Spray. Now, the reason why I spritzed my hair is because I wanted to see which parts to cut off when my hair was wet. If you have damaged parts of your hair and you wet your hair, you can see the damage a lot more clearly. There are some parts in the front that are still a bit straight. I'm gonna leave those, I just want my hair to be one level. However, the ends when I spritzed my hair, this part was nice and juicy and curly, this part was looser curls to stringy. So I knew where to cut. From my last video, I was showing you guys the damage that I had on my hair. I was just walking you through my little timeline. I was saying whether I was gonna big chop or relax. Now, I'm not going to big chop because since cutting my hair, it feels so much better. I don't feel there's a reason to cut my hair. My ends are thicker now. My hair is all uniform. I don't think there's a reason to relax my hair either. Some of you guys have recommended a keratine treatment and what have you. I don't even know if I'm gonna go that far yet. To be honest, I don't even know I'm gonna be straightening my hair. I just wanna basically leave my hair. Now it's juicy <laughs> and I can get my juicy twist because it's all one thickness now. I just wanna put my hair in a protective style. I'm gonna use my go-to style, which is my twists or my plaits, but twists most probably plaits i feel it's just doing a bit too much to the hair twist literally just twist and twirl at the end so yes guys how i got this shape as well guys just to let you know what i didn't want is my hair shorter on top and then longer underneath so i didn't really want that angled cut if you see what i'm saying i wanted all of the hair to be level really i just took off more underneath so it could match the hair on top if that makes sense so what i did when i was cutting my hair let me just show you as much as i can and it just feels so much more healthier guys look at this guys come on instead of cutting my hair up and then this bit would be shorter i held my hair taut and i held it down and i just cut away like this just cut the ends and that was that i'm gonna do a wash day routine i am gonna stick to my natural hair journey i'm looking forward to taking you on this natural hair journey with me i don't think i'm gonna do any wash and goes if i do a wash and go it might be one for the entire year i don't know but i'm not really i'm it's just not where my head's at right now no pun intended <laughs> yeah i wish i could show you how to trim your natural hair at home but you know camera wouldn't allow that now would it very short video as i said so anyway guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one <laughs> see you later guys bye